Welcome to a new Clash of the Horns. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Daryl Henderson out of Memphis, uh, one of the most exciting and electrifying running backs in this year's draft. Possibly the most exciting running back from what he did in college. I would consider this guy all gas, no brakes, speedy guy with incredible athleticism. And not only that, but his skills is is going to be magnified because the Rams are a very zone kind of uh, running team and they like to run a lot of plays in zone west coast offense so you know the running backs going to be heavily utilized in this offense and he works for the Rams I mean the Rams will need someone to pair up with Todd Gurley being that Todd Gurley does have knee problems I mean I'm pretty sure he does I mean there are arthritis issues um, I've been telling him on Twitter to take glucosamine pills. They're really good with arthritis and inflammation, but he never texts, he never messages me back. But the dude, um, Daryl Henderson, a dual threat with Todd Gurley, because Todd Gurley is a home run hitter as well, but he has a lot of power that comes with that. He's a very good receiving back. And I will consider Daryl Henderson like a miniature, a mini me version of Todd Gurley. Dude has speed, like track speed, just a smaller stature guy, really good catching ability, the catching ability um, in the backfield. Plus, he has some underrated strength, man. This guy breaks tackles like no no one's business. Like this guy is legit, a really good dual threat running back duo with the Rams now. Plus, the West Coast offense is going to be working to his strength. Plus, the Rams like to run the ball, a very uh, zone scheme type of offense when we're running the football, which works out very great, plus screen passes. And every time you see a screen pass to Daryl Henderson, he's always gonna break a tackle. And that's one good thing that you'll see for the Rams is they'll utilize him in a really good way, a really good manner, and it's gonna be hard to stop. Plus them. having the wide receivers that we do have, the tight ends, new offensive linemen that we can kind of tinker with and see what works in, in the inside. Because I'm pretty sure, um, Andrew Whitworth is for, for sure left tackle, plus Rob Havenstein. So it's going to be the best players to compete in the, in the inside offensive lineman role. And we brought in a bunch of offensive linemen. This Rams offense is going to take off, and Dara Henderson is going to help out the Rams tremendously. Um, one weakness of his, though, is when he is given the responsibility to block for his quarterback, he is not strong enough to withstand the power of like an edge rusher or a defensive tackle or inside linebacker blitzing down the middle to sack the quarterback. He's gonna be a liability in that sense. So if there's any play action passes down the field that are disguised as, as, a, as a run, and then he's given the, the responsibility to block the linebacker blitzing inside, it's not gonna happen. He's gonna be thrown down um, like a rag doll because he's not big. He's not he's not a big running back, but If you were to maybe sub in Todd Gurley for a, a, a play like that and Todd Gurley does a really good job of protecting Jared Goff He's done it against Some of the best linebackers that blitz down the middle of the offensive line when they go all the way in for a blitz He protects Jared Goff with his body man. That guy is a is a is a, uh, a savior but Daryl Henderson doesn't have that, that size. I think he's like 5'8", 5'9", but he does have track speed. I mean, there's other ways you can use him, and that's up to Sean McVay. But other than that, that's the only weakness I see from Daryl Henderson is the ability that he's not that strong. But he's fast. He's elusive. His vision is fantastic. His catching ability is, is really good. And then once he gets through the linebackers, man, it's going to be a touchdown. There, no one's going to catch him. There's so, no secondary player that will match his speed in, on, in the football field. There, it's very rare for, you know, some of these running backs, in my opinion, that have the type of talent that he has. Some of them, are, like their 40 time is like 4.47, 4.45. This guy runs like a 4.32, 4.37. This guy is quick. But to me... He works out fantastic for the Rams, a really good fit, and I can't wait to see what happens. It, to me, my, right now, I think the Todd Gurley is going to be number one, Daryl Henderson, um, Malcolm Brown, and then Jay, John Kelly. That's going to be our linebacker core, and that's a really core to have, just in case some of the guys get hurt. And uh, CJ Anderson already signed with the 
um, Detroit Lions. So the Rams needed a running back to bring in, and they picked a really good run, a one with a lot of potential that got into the third round. Probably should have been taken in the second round. Even some analysts people say that he should have been taken in the late first round. So, I mean, the Rams have dual threat running backs now. It's, it's got to wait and see for them to put it on the field. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys like this pick, if you like the move, if you think this is going to be a really good move for the Rams, or if you think you sh we should have picked some other player at the time that we picked Daryl Henderson. Because I know there was a lot of you know talent in the secondary. There was still a lot of talent at the nose tackle position. But the Rams did a good job of picking up another really good running back with a lot of potential. And I think it's going to work out for the Rams. Until next time, you guys, go Rams. Leave a like, leave a share, and please comment.